to go fast, called Annie and Clarabelle. Wait and see, wait and see, hissed Thomas. He's a long way ahead, they wailed. But Thomas didn't mind. He'd remembered the level crossing. There was Bertie fuming at the gates while they sailed gaily through. Goodbye, Bertie, called Thomas. After that, the road left the railway so they couldn't see Bertie. Then they had to stop at the station to let off passengers. Beep, beep. Quickly, please, called Thomas, and off they went again. Come along, come along, sang Thomas. We're coming along, we're coming along, sang Annie and Clarabelle. Hurry, 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 panted Thomas. Then he looked ahead. There was Bertie tooting triumphantly on his horn. Oh, dearie me, oh, dearie me, groaned Thomas. Steady, Thomas, said his driver. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet. The signal dropped. Hurrah, we're off. Hurrah, we're off, puffed Thomas. As they crossed the bridge, they heard an impatient honk, honk. There was Bertie waiting at the traffic lights. He started with a roar and chased on after Thomas again. Now Thomas reached his full speed. Bertie tried hard, but Thomas was too fast. Whistling triumphantly, he plunged into the tunnel, leaving Bertie toiling far behind. 